Hey guys and girls, Philip here. Um, today we're just going to go over how to use or how to create, uh, get a website started on Bluehost. And for those of you who don't know, real quick, Bluehost is um, one of the oldest web host companies, one of the most reliable as well. They've been around uh, since the mid 90s. So, you know, they've, they've basically been here as long as the internet as we know it today has really been here um, and me personally I've been using them now for about eight months and I have to say that I, I, I used Wix previously to Bluehost and for any of you that have ever used Wix and then moved on to something else you you really understand the differences between Wix and 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 like a legitimate host or a, a legitimate a legitimate web host company and uh, Bluehost is one of the best. They um, 24/7, 365 uh, phone customer service, so you can always get an individual on the phone. And I've always, you know, it's always been real quick, real easy. Um, it's a great company. But anyway, so what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how to go from logging in to your account to having a website set up in about. Um, five minutes or less roughly alright so let's go ahead and get started so I'm gonna go to control panel and guys this is going to be uh, this is the first in a, a series of videos that I'm gonna be making for um, to basically show you how to create a website from scratch so this is part one and progressively um, as as this series goes on, I'm going to show you how to do a number of different things, like um, SEO, plugins, uh, general content creation, a whole bunch of things. So you know, if that stuff is interesting to you, definitely hit that subscribe button, um, and uh, and stay tuned for that stuff. So anyway, once we once we log in, we're going to go to hosting and cPanel which we were already there but we we'll just make sure so we'll go to hosting and then cPanel and then right here you have uh, your simple scripts essentially um, web or, or the, the website builders that they have they allow or they to, they have WordPress simple scripts Weebly GoMobi Mobile and then um, the Mojo Marketplace as well and all of these are done through the Mojo Marketplace it uh it didn't used to be like that. It actually used to be the these four website builders were actually done by a th through a different mechanism, but now they're all through the Mojo Marketplace. And uh, specifically, what I'm going to be showing you guys today is a WordPress site. So we'll go ahead and click on WordPress. And it'll take it just a minute. Um they just have to kind of connect with the servers and uh, get situated so this will take just a moment see there we go it's already done and this is the mojo marketplace um, there's a number of different uh, a number of different things you can do and you can also purchase themes through here logos and graphics uh, plugins a whole bunch of stuff just a ton of stuff. Um, me personally, I uh, I don't really I, I don't purchase themes. Um, it, it's really not necessary unless unless your website unless you either need a specific a specific design for a specific reason like a niche site. Um, and it's always good to have a, a custom theme. I just I'm not to the point where I need one yet and. If if you're watching this video and you're a beginner, if you don't even know how to how to get your WordPress started, you you most likely don't need to buy a theme either, because there's tons of good free ones out there. So anyway, we'll go ahead. You click on WordPress and then you want to hit start. And you could also import if you have a uh, another website already, which I'm just gonna start. And um, you want to go down to the domains without www. Click on that, and you can also add another extension here if you wanted to. So, for instance, if I already had amateuritHelpStation.com, and I wanted to have another website, even if it was just to temporarily set something up, 
I could say amateuritelpstation.com slash, you know, whatever, slash website one or website two or test website or whatever I wanted to name it, and it would essentially function as a whole nother website, uh, which is interesting. So anyway, we'll do amateuritelpstation.com, and we, we will check domain. And this will take just a moment. Oh, that's odd. I don't know why it's doing that. Hmm. All right, well, let's check. Let's check this one right here. Check domain. There we go. Okay, cool. Um, and there is actually already an install on there. It's just a basic install. Uh, nothing, nothing even customized at all. So we'll go ahead, you want to click that. Um, then I've read the terms and conditions. And check domain. So it's preparing to install. And guys, like I said previously, whoa, like I said previously, um, I'm going to go through the entire process of setting this website up. I'm also going to do tutorials for um, the WordPress dashboard in general, uh, tutorials for certain plugins, uh, certain themes as well, um, just a whole bunch of stuff, how to write content, um, basic editing of things like the CSS and um, the HTML for the themes as well, um, and also things like how to integrate Google Analytics and um, general SEO. Just basically, if, you, if you're a beginner, my goal is to create a series where I demonstrate my knowledge completely and it would, it, it's a series that would be able to take someone who, who has never done this before and have them be able to do it as well. Uh, or, and to learn how to repeat that system as well on a number of different websites. All right, so the the installation is complete. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and check it out. See what it looks like. So, all right, so this is what it looks like, guys. And this video is getting just a tad bit long, so I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Uh, real quick, uh, like I said before, stay tuned. We are going to be doing a whole bunch of tutorials for WordPress. And uh, not just WordPress, but I, on this website, I intend to create a large amount of content for a whole bunch of things that just, if you're into internet marketing, if you are into content creation, social media, things like that, that's what this website is going to be centered around. And it'll also have a... Um, a, a, a little side bit of technology and maybe some gaming too every once in a while uh, I'm not gonna go too heavy on the gaming but I do game a little bit myself and that is relatively easy content to create and it can also if done at the right time it can definitely attract um, a, a good amount of attention so anyway guys uh, this has been Philip on amateur IT help and guys, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and I will talk to you later. 